Okay, so the plan for today was to continue working on the stairs. I did a little bit yesterday. And then I was also going to open an eBay account. So I actually managed to clean my closet out. And now I have some things that I'd like to figure out how to get rid of. And I put some things in the donate pile, some in the selling pile. But anyway, I will not get into that right now. So a big part of my routine is actually acting. And that's just something that I do. So that means that when a self tape comes in, I kind of have to do it. And my auditions and or self tapes are very sporadic. There is no way to plan for them. They just kind of come in randomly. Also, one of the self tapes that I have to do today is actually something that I submitted for in May. In May. So obviously it has been quite a few months and I guess they just moved down filming or something. And I already broke down the script and started learning the lines. And now I've gotten ready. I actually didn't know what I was going to wear. I'm not sure if I want to wear this. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do a vocal warm up, And then I will continue working on my lines. As you can see, I already started breaking things down and highlighted them and everything. Wait a minute, I did see something. Really? For next month? I'd love to, but I have stuff to do. Such as? Oh, such as anything else. Not chocolate, there should be one that's in chocolate. And the one that's in chocolate should also have them in it. So this is the timeline. I have edited what I want out, the things that I have to do before and after the tape. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one because I'm not using it. That was a different take, but I am going with this take because I liked it. So now I just go in this ancient program and save it and it will take a million hours for it to load and then I get to upload it which will take another million hours and then I get to submit it. Actually it's going a lot faster than I thought but I think I saved a small file this time. Okay so I'm uploading the tape now, one of the tapes, and there it goes. It really does take a while to do this whole process. The only reason the first one uploaded so quickly is because it was literally only five and a half seconds. So yeah, there it is. Okay, so my second tape is done. Placing order. And I'm done. I wanted to do this eBay thing. So I figured out that I have to go to sell in order to open up an account there. So now I'm going to get started. Okay, so here on eBay it says sell. There's like a little sign in on the left side, but it says sell on the right side. So that's the side that I'm going to. And it says list an item is the place that you go to like start making your account. So I'm going to click on that. And actually I was kind of putting this off because pretty much everything I read said you should start your own, not your own, but start a new like bank account for all of your eBay stuff to go into. And that's for people who want this to be a business. And I'm not sure if I want that yet. So I kind of set myself a little, I don't want to say a deadline, but like a uh, quota. And if I actually sell 10 items and want to continue selling items, then I will go ahead and set up a different bank account because yeah, I, <laughs> At this point, I don't know. I may sell like three things and never sell anything else. So uh, yeah, I will just decide if I think it's worth it to start like a whole bank account. So anyway, now it says, tell us what you're selling. And I just list everything. Type in keywords like brand model details. Choose from possible matches, preview and make changes. What? Are they saying that I have to actually start with a, a list? I thought I could like start and be like, I, in theory, want to start 
with clothing. Oh, that is almost exactly like a pair of shoes that I have. We've run out of suggestions. Okay, it seems kind of like I have to start with like one physical item. It sounds like I can't start with anything else. Maybe I should set up an account, like register, set up an account with an email and then go back and click sell on that. I did not think this would be this like confusing, but we'll find out. Uh... I don't know why they want a specific thing. I guess they don't want a bunch of accounts created and one like people never list, but I could still never list it even if I go through all the steps. Okay, so it says that I already have an account and I was able to find the password to that. So go figure. In fact, not only do I have an account, but as soon as I like looked at the password and the information, I realized that the only thing that I've ever purchased on eBay was actually a part for my computer, which is now right in front of you. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I already had an account. So that's all set up now. And I was able to find like a similar shoe. And I guess that I will just go through and like change some of the specs. But I haven't taken the photos yet. So I'm going to go through and take photos of these different items and start listing. And yeah, and then I will go from there. But for right now, I'm just going through the specs and making sure that things look right. So now that I have finished setting up the account, that means that I have finished at least one thing on my to-do list, even though something totally unexpected popped up. I mean, not totally unexpected because self tapes happen to me, you know, they happen to me, which is a good thing. I mean, you know, it's hard to get them, but also, they pop up at like the most random times, like when you're just starting to not expect them, then they pop up. I will not be getting to the stairs today because it's really late and I will have to leave that until next time, but at least I have my eBay account set up. And that's something that I always try and do, even if something kind of unexpected pops up on my plate, which happens from time to time with even other things, I like to at least finish one thing that was on my list for the day. So I picked the simpler thing and the less physical thing which was setting up the eBay account. So now that is actually off my plate, which I'm very happy about. Uh, eBay sounds kind of complicated, but I hope I will still be able to remove some junk from my closet and give them new homes. So I hope you have a great night. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.